I'm going to show you exactly how to create an Instagram shop. Look at this account. One of my most popular Lions page called Lions Royal. Visit it and follow. Now, if you click on shop, Instagram has made major changes to its interface. Now, when you open your account, you have your name up here in bold. And when you click on plus up here, you can now create a feed post story, story highlight, IGTV and real. And the most important thing that I realized about this change is down. They've put the shop down here. You see here, they've put the shop and they've put the reels now have shops here as well. So for shop means that all the Instagram pages that have inserted their catalog product from Instagram, people will actually be able to shop from here. So if I click, for example, on this product, I can actually click and view it on the site. It's going to open it and I can actually add the color and then buy it now. And when when people scroll down the product, they can actually view more product from the shop. They are pushing for businesses to start on those platform. And I'm going to show you exactly how to create a shop like that as well. <music> to have a business professional page with Instagram. How do you get that? If you open my account and if I click on edit, you can see that I have now I have put the link of my website down here. When people uh, open, they will be able to access the shop. So if you've created, if you've just created an Instagram account and it's still personal and you want to transform it into a shop, you need to click here on edit profile and you need to click here on switch to professional account or come here at the, the top here and then you click on settings and then you click on account and then you scroll down and you click on switch to professional account whichever way you prefer let me just go back you click on edit and you click on switch to professional account and then from here he says get a free professional account with a professional uh insight with full about your followers with account performance, new contact, everything. You, you can continue, learn more about your followers. You continue, you continue, you continue. And then you select the category. This is very important. Okay, this is very important because if you want to create a shop, then you need to select shopping and retail. And you can display the category label just to sh tell people that this is a shopping Instagram page. And done click on done and now you select instead you, you have two options business or creator are you a business based on the category you select you may be a business you can edit this anytime you select business if you select creator then you will not be able to be eligible for shopping so you click on next and then here the public information you change your public information if you don't want your phone personal phone number to appear as the business thing then you just leave your email there and then you don't put your professional phone number. And then you click on next as well. Now, this is the part where you connect to your Facebook. Connecting to your Facebook page is optional, but it's required if you want to cross post stuff to Facebook and use future. Listen, pay attention. It is optional, but it's required if you want to cross post to Facebook and I'll use features such as promotion ad tool and shopping tool. So you need to connect to your professional Facebook page, which already has a catalog. And I have already made another video on my site, on my YouTube channel on how to create a Facebook business account, Facebook professional page and a Facebook catalog. So you click on login to Facebook. <music> And then you select the Facebook page, which it's associated to. Now, the reason why I said you have to carefully select the Facebook page is this is because if you don't select the right Facebook page that is not eligible for monetization, your shop will not be approved. And to actually 
re get a review of your shop will be harder so before you actually as attach that instagram account to that facebook page you have to make sure that you build that facebook page so that it's eligible for monetization i am saying this because here are the shops that i have created and some of them are rejected for shopping because i made that specific mistake how to avoid that mistake number one you have to verify your facebook your domain on facebook and i have already made and i'm going to put the link of the video down below but it's basically this video it says verify your domain on facebook and id for shopping and if you don't verify it, it means that you're not going to be eligible because Facebook cares about the credibility. This The security standards have increased. So if you if I come here, for example, this is the list of domains that I've already verified, that I had to verify in order, for example, to apply for one or two of them, right? Each of a domain is your website, a website where you have your shop. And so to verify your domain is simple. Watch that video. But essentially, you come here under this tool and then you come here on the business settings and then you scroll down onto brand and safety and then you click on domain. And then right there is where you add your domain. You enter your domain name right there. Maybe it's fashionnova.com and then you click on add domain. You will have three let's say I, I click I tap for example fashionnova.com right and then it says now it's not yet verified then you have three three ways of verification DNS verification HTML file upload and then meta tag meta tag is the simplest one to verify because if you have a WordPress website you can simply tap on it and then you go on your Word, WordPress dashboard to install a plugin called insert headers and footers and then you paste that plugin that uh, this code into the header section of your of that plugin I cover all of that in this video for weeks for Squarespace, for Shopify, and for WordPress. So watch that video. The next thing that you will want to do, again, be very careful. Don't make the mistakes that I have made. I'm telling you because I have already emailed back and forth at least 50 times with a Facebook representative that is assisting me. Very nice guy, but he's assisting me in really correcting the mistake that I've made early on because once you attached an Instagram account that is eligible for shopping to a bit to a, a website that is not verified, it's really hard to detach it. You will have to reach out to the customer service and everything. So verify your domain until you see it green, just like here before you continue to select the page and to submit the Instagram verification. The next thing that you will want to do is because like I said, you need to attach your shop to a Facebook page. Okay, when you apply for shopping, you it you have to select the Facebook page and that Facebook page has to be eligible for monetization. This is also another issue that I had and that I did not know don't make that mistake so what you want to do is that if you have multiple pages on Facebook for example you have to select carefully the page for which you want to apply for Facebook shop in such a way that once you get approved for Facebook shop then when you apply for Instagram shop and you can easily link that Facebook page on Instagram and also I have made another video already on how to apply for Facebook shopping so watch that video the link will be down below but essentially one to see whether a page is whether a Facebook page is eligible for shopping you go on uh, on Google for example and you type Facebook creator studio monetization right type that and then click on the first result what it will do is that it will actually open if you're locked in already on facebook it will open the facebook for creators once you land on this page you actually scroll down eligibility and apply you scroll down these are the list of all the pages that I have you have already created as you will see some of them marks here eligible and others you mark others have that yellow sign meaning that there are things that you will need to fix before applying for Facebook shop with this page 
and then there are there are pages that may be read or maybe not approved it means that here you're not eligible for partner monetization so if you attach your instagram already to this page you'll be you'll be messed up i'm telling you don't do that mistake scroll up and select among the pages that are eligible for monetization you apply for facebook shopping with one of these pages and then once you get approved for facebook shopping which is absolutely easy to get a proof of facebook shopping then you now go back and attach that page and select that page on instagram shopping and make sure that the catalog is also attached to that facebook page once the catalog is a, is attached to that facebook page you'll be able to see those product from the catalog on instagram as well and easily tag them let's continue and then after connecting to your Facebook, you will have this step, keep going, it's completed. And then you can click on complete your profile, you click on validate, and then you close this. Okay, now you see what it says, get the most out of your business account. Now it's easier to get insight. If you click on insight, it allows you after a few days, it will start gathering data about who is liking your post about how many people are liking your post from where exactly they're liking the post and you will see all the demographic here in audience in activity in content and this is the power of a business instagram account and how do you get the option to shop so if i open for example adidas adidas original if you open the account what do you see you have the feed you have the reels and you have the shopping option here, this button. This button, you will need to apply for shopping. So you, if you click, for example, on the product, this is where you shop from the page, okay? They have a 35 million followers. So imagine a million followers just crawl down their page and start shopping from here. It's just, they're just gonna make crazy amount of money. And that's how you can start selling whatever product you have online on Instagram. So. And then after you've connected your Insta your Facebook account, if you come down on settings and you click on account and you click on sharing to other app, you will see now that it's connected to your Facebook page. And then you can actually select share also your Instagram story to Facebook story. The next step that you do is that after you've connected to your Facebook page, a professional Facebook page where you have catalog product, then you go you go and apply for shopping. So you click on settings and you click on business and you click on set up Instagram shopping on get started. You see what it says now, not eligible for Instagram shopping. That's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. Account presence not established. To use Instagram shopping, you must have an established presence on Instagram. Please check back once your account has more activity. So you need to find a way to bring it followers, to bring in some activity. When Once you have like 100 followers, 200 followers, and you have more data, then you will be able to use Instagram shopping. Again, I have already made several videos on my channel that you can check on how to grow your Instagram fast. So I will see you in a couple of days or maybe in a week. And then I will show you again how I apply for the shopping and how I set up the shopping button right there. Moments later. Actually, this is not a few moments later. It's actually three weeks later. Now this is what I have. Guess what I have? I have a thousand followers. So I went literally from 10 followers that I was showing you to three weeks later a thousand followers now you see I follow I applied the follow for follow method that I show you on my channel 3,000 people followed 1,000 people followed back now you understand that I know what I am talking about and guess what I see now on my home page this is the button shop right there so now I am eligible to put a shop on this page in such a way that people can easily shop from my page instead of having to do swipe up stories all the time or to pay people to promote my product. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click 
on add shop right here I click, tap on add shop now it says add a shop to your profile tag product in your post so you can create shoppable content by tagging product directly in your post so and now next thing that i do is that i tap on get started i need to connect the facebook page to connect to a product catalog to instagram okay so let, let's go ahead and do that it's asking me to pick a page and guess what i'll do in my list of page i am going to pick my other page tiger lover club and i also have this page that i shop all while but i'm going to pick this one okay you see the it has four thousand likes and now you see directly what happens because i already have again i already have catalog imported and connected to that specific page now you see the list of all my catalog that i already imported or the product on tiger lovers fan club already show on my instagram so i can connect that to my account and create a shop so again i can even use a partner i can connect that to a shopify account a big commerce a woocommerce or magneto they give you everything that you can they give you the step if you're on woocommerce this is what you do if you're on shopify this is what you do okay they give you everything all the details so i'm going to try to pick one you see those are all the product in the catalog right there these are all the product in the catalog that I can directly tag. So let's go step by step and just go back and I'm going to tap on next. Again, now you see it's connected to my website, wildbillspace.com. And let me show you that website. This is the website right there. Okay. This is the website right there. If I go and shop all, this is the list of product on the website that you see right here. Okay. I will be able to sell them directly from Instagram and people will be able to shop. So this is the power of Instagram shopping. Let's go ahead and continue. Now I need to select the website domain. I only have one domain. So this is this one. And then I click on next and then it's ready for review. That is what you do. That's how you submit ready for review. Boom. Now Instagram is reviewing my account after reviewing my account i will be able to start tagging product on my instagram shopping and one important tip when you apply make sure your feed is clean because a human being will verify your 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 feed or your instagram page so make sure it's compliant make sure you don't have copyrighted content and you have only product of your from your site okay this will allow the instagram agent to approve your site easily so you'll be able to start monetizing it i am going to use this account and assume that you've successfully followed the steps and then that you're approved for shopping now how do you actually tag product on your account you have multiple ways first if you go on this plus button up here you can use it to a feed post or you can go, you can tag product on your story and on your feed post. So if I come here and I say, I go back to my archives, okay, and I just go back to all the posts that I used to post maybe back then. If I take this post, for example, and I want to repost that as a post, like maybe share as a post, and then I click on continue, continue now here what you will see is that you will see this tag product button right there so you have the tag people you tag add location and tag product if i tap on tag product then i tap on any pro at any part of the picture it will allow me to select one of the products that i have imported in my catalog okay these are all the products that i have in my catalog and then it will allow me to select one of them. Suppose I'm, I'm selecting this one, for example. You can drag this price anywhere. Maybe you have one here, which is the coat. Now you want to tap again on the jean and you want to add another one. Let's say, for example, the, you search, for example, the product here and you say jean. If you're able to see the jean, may, maybe this is this one. You add that on the jean right there. And now for the shoes, you tap on the shoes part and then 
this is the dress shoes maybe this is the shoes right there so you have and then you drag that way down here to say okay this is the shoes okay now so you're able to tag as many product as you want on your picture now the fifth one maybe the glove those gloves right there or maybe the scarf let's say the scarf you also tap one for the scarf scarf maybe i'm not sure if i imported that in my catalog i don't have any scarf in my catalog but essentially you understand the point okay you have all the product and once you're done you click on validate and then you you write whatever you want here you say okay shop at blah 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 uh dot com like fashionnova.com and then you put hashtags you put all your hashtag right there maybe hashtag fashion and then you select your hashtag like maybe fashion nova whatever and then you press on this button that will publish the post and what you will let me just call it that so you can do that on all your archive post or you can simply come here on the plus button and click on feed post select whatever picture you have in your gallery and then post that as well now if you come here on the shop you will be able to see all the product available for shopping so if i tap for example on this one i can easily click or the visitor can easily click on sh view on website they will be able to actually shop on the website from here and so they have all the details and then if they scroll up they will see product in the similar category meaning other suits that they're able to shop from so and then at the end they will even recommend other product from other shops for you so I, I think this is something that everyone can start and should start because currently it's free to access I think it's great that Facebook support businesses of any size to really start their business online and I think you should take advantage of it and really it's easy to create a WooCommerce store import product maybe from Ali dropship or Aliexpress or Alibaba whatever and then once you have those product there you're able to create a catalog create a Facebook business page create an Instagram professional page grow that Instagram page to maybe like 800 1000 followers and then once you're done doing that you can now create that catalog import that on facebook and then start tagging product on your facebook page and instagram page for free <music>one last thing that you can actually do you can actually tag instagram product on your story as well so let me show you an example if i tap on that plus button and i click i want to post this story and i select the picture that i want to post as a story guess what it shows link to product in your shop up there so if i click on this button that looks like a link guess what it shows you shop product and web link this is the power of Instagram story so you can link to product on your shop so if you tap here shop that will easily when people visit that story it will actually add your shop to that and people can actually get to your shop when if I select let me just go back if I select now product that will allow me to actually tag one product to that story so if i tap here for example i want this one and plus it's actually added now now suppose i want to change that remove the link and i instead want to go for a web link i can also put the link of that specific product right there you know maybe i maybe it's a it's a quote or it it's those glasses right there or maybe it's the bracelet also let me just go back also when you click on this button right there up here and you see you have hashtag mentioned but now you also have product so if i tap on product it allows me to also tag a product directly so for example i can tag let's say this leather jacket and then i can drag i can tap to edit the name i can remove whatever part of the name that i want let's say i just want collar leather jacket or maybe just leather jacket and then i click on save i click on done i can now drag this one reduce increase reduce turn it whatever way i want and then drag that anywhere okay 
And on top of that, you can also tag a product. No, okay, because I already tagged the product, that option is already added here. So those are the options that you have to also add product in Instagram stories. Once you're done, you can actually click on send to, and then you choose your story right there, share, and then that's it. That's how people will start shopping from your Instagram story. And they will also start shopping from your page directly. If you think that was helpful, please, please smash the like button, subscribe. And as always, if you want to support me, this is my cash app right there, micro power. And then until next time, I want you to really take good care of yourself. I love you guys. Peace. And don't forget to smash like and subscribe. Thank you.